Okay guys, how's it going? We're getting ready to plant up a couple new containers. So Benjamin and I just went out to the greenhouse and picked up a couple flats of lemon coral sedum. There was a reason why I bought the big stroller. I can fit a flat down here and a flat right here, which is very handy. So we're gonna plant these containers right underneath this beautifully blooming redbud tree and Russell's up in it. I don't know if you can see him, but I've got these beautiful new urns that have low bowls which I thought the sedum would be really pretty in. So I'm just gonna get everything set up and then I'll explain kind of my thought process behind this area. So we've got this urn ready to go. We've got it set up on drip. Let me show you how we did that. We've got a drip tubing right here that feeds all of these boxwoods. So we tied into that with quarter inch black drip tubing that travels along the ground and goes up under the container through the drain hole. It comes to this barbed cross right here, which enables us to go three different directions. So there's a short piece of drip tubing here and then a half gallon per hour emitter on the end of each one. That way we can kind of spread these apart equidistance, you know, cut this planter into thirds, that way we get equal water. Um, so all I need to do then is put soil in here and plant, but we have one more urn to set up. So we'll show you kind of from start to finish how we do this. So I've got my quarter inch drip tubing and I'm just gonna put it down through the drain hole and I can tip that to make sure I'm making it through the hole on the pillar here. See how it goes right down through there? and I'll get it all the way down to the ground and then Aaron's gonna help me tip the whole planter so I can reach underneath and grab the drip tube from under. All right, I got it, so I'm just gonna pull a little bit of a length here. So I'm gonna punch into this drip tube with my punch tool. And then I've got a coupler on the end of my quarter inch tubing here that will just pop right in, like that. I'm gonna put on a barbed cross and I'm gonna get all three of these tubes attached. Before I put on the emitters, I'm gonna slide these stakes onto each tube. Then I'm gonna attach the black barbed end to the end of each tube. I hope this helps you guys see how we set up our containers on drip. Now, it may be something we need to adjust later on in the summer if we're having to give the boxwoods more water than the sedum needs because this lemon coral sedum is heat and drought tolerant, I may have to adjust the water. So I did put half gallon per hour emitters on the ends of each of these tubes. It might be that I need to um, put more, like a gallon per hour emitter, or it could be possible that I have to come and cap one of these tubes off or two of them if it's getting too much. So every area is different. You just have to eyeball it and adjust accordingly. He's asleep. So let's start planting this urn up first. Let me show you kind of a close up of this lemon coral. It's a really pretty kind of pillowy looking sedum, really soft, and it adds a really bright pop to the garden. And I thought it would be really pretty alongside like contrasting this black bench. And then also in low bowls, I love to do kind of low mounded arrangements. And the beauty of doing just one thing in a container is kind of twofold for me. One, it's super easy maintenance because you're not dealing with any different water requirements for different plants. It also is really peaceful to look at. I'm actually gonna try to do more mono containers. That's what we call them, monos, meaning one type of plant. I just love the way it looks. I love to see that in gardens. It looks like somebody was able to practice a little restraint and a little bit more um, kind of thought behind the design instead of just you know running to the garden center and picking up everything that's in bloom and shoving it all in a pot. And I do that too, and that is fun but it's kind of neat to do something a little bit different. So I'm really looking forward to these containers this year. Um, this is also in a spot that it's really kind of early in the morning right now, and it gets kind of dappled light through the morning hours, and then in the afternoon it gets good sun. These can take part sun to sun, so I think that they're gonna thrive and do really well in this spot. So now, since this is a container, and these are a succulent, you guys know me, I like to put quite a bit in a container. I think I can fit five or six in here, and they will be just really happy in here, and they'll kind of spread out, fill in, might kind of grace the edges just a little bit, but overall, I just wanted them to be a bright pop. And it's something in the end, I'm, we might end up cutting out grass and doing some paver stones and maybe some um, steppables underneath this area. It's just kind of a fun area to see evolve, I think. It's certainly up to you how many you put in a container. I like to kind of go for instant impact right from the very beginning. So I think I can fit five or six in this container and it'll look really pretty. There will be a little bit of space in between them, but you could get away with three if you wanted to. These grow about eight to 12 inches wide and about three to 10 inches tall. So I might be able to expect these to grow up a little bit and be a kind of a nice tall mound. In my area, I live in a zone five. These are a zone seven through 11. So I either have to treat them as an annual and replace them every year, or I need to take them out of the container and put them inside on like the brightest window cell that I have. So, you know, planting them this close together isn't as big a deal in my area because I'm not expecting to get years and years out of them, but that's totally up to you. So now I'm gonna keep planting and we'll see how it looks. All 
All right, guys, I absolutely adore how this area turned out. Isn't it so elegant and inviting looking? I think sometimes practicing some restraint and using just one type of plant rather than a whole bunch of different types is just the way to go for some designs. And just the overall look of this whole area is just so pretty. I mean, look up, look at this. This is a redbud tree and it's in full bloom and the whole thing just looks perfect. I think this bench fits in perfectly how like underneath these arching branches. Um, so anyway, as far as where I got all of this stuff, I picked this bench up at the garden center where I work. This is called a Lichian's Eucalyptus Wood Garden Bench. This is a leaf motif pedestal and urn from Henry Studio. And this is not the last of the lemon coral sedum you're gonna see from me this year. I'm planning on putting it in one of our huge flower projects we have coming up, as well as I'm gonna be planting it in a lot of our landscape. So be prepared, prepare yourself. You're gonna see a whole lot more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today and we will see you in the next one. Bye.